<laughs> Today, we're doing goalkeeper training with a weighted vest on. Let's go. So my theory here is, if you weigh yourself down with the weighted vest, after that, if you train with it and then you take it off, you'll be more explosive. So we're gonna train with it, see what it feels like, and at the end, we'll come to a conclusion. All right, just to test what the vest does with our jump height, we're doing a quick jump test. I'm gonna jump as high as we can with the legs stretched, without the vest, and then with the vest, and I'll check out the difference in editing. So. As you can see, the weight vest definitely affects my jump height. It might not seem like much, but as a goalkeeper, these few centimeters could be the difference between making a save and not making a save. All right, first up, a little exercise to start off the ground movements, to start off the diving, to get used to the ground and get a feel for it. It's an easy exercise. It's a great one to start your training off. So, let's go. I can definitely feel my heart rate is higher than usual. So now we're gonna do uh, just an easy start off exercise. Some footwork through the cones, ball in the hands. Do that a couple times, just to get the hands going a bit. Next exercise, still some footwork, then getting into some low dives. Still kind of warming up, getting the hands warm, getting the feet warm, especially the footwork, very important as a goalkeeper. So, let's get to it. All right, what's very important here to know is that you're cutting into the ball, you're not diving backwards. Also, Try to stay very low. Make sure you don't dive like a dolphin, but you're diving low. So it's important you just stay low, tap the cone, and then from here, diving like that. If you don't, you're just gonna be tapping the cone and then going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not good, because the ball will go underneath you. Good tip for you guys. Okay, do one more round, but a bit higher pace. Okay. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I saw, but my run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems. Alright, we're gonna start getting into the explosive stuff now. Some jumping and then a half high uh, hit from Kenneth. Still getting started, but okay. more intense. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, look, yeah, down low, low up, top, up top, on my way to the bag at the bus stop, bus stop, some blow, some flop, I ain't get my shot yet, but I'm gon' pop, gon' pop, don't stop, keep going, I got this mantra in my head, it make me keep flowing, pour shots, keep pouring, it's Okay. Yeah, now we're getting into the explosive stuff, I'm definitely starting to feel the vest starting to feel the burn in my quads um, but I feel like this will definitely be great for my training just to become more explosive and once I do take the vest off I think I'll feel much lighter and much better a few more explosive exercises and then we're gonna do an awesome challenge which is a great challenge for you guys to try at home as well so let's go okay next exercise very explosive two small jumps and then big top corner save hard hit yeah let's go For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. I got a up price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it. All record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wilding all record. Did you guys see that? I took the vest off mid dive. <laughs> Every time we film a YouTube video, something weird happens. Remember the last time? the ball and the crossbar and then I had it in my hands. It was weird. All right, let's go. 
tape to get the vest back on and do the challenge. Okay. Banana and mango loco do not combine well in the stomach. Note to self. <coughs> All right. Last but not least, we're doing an awesome challenge. Goalkeeper versus goalkeeper. It's a run and shoot challenge. One person starts here, one person starts there. You run across from each other. One person tries to shoot and score. The other one tries to make the save. If you score, you get a point. If you don't, you don't get a point. It's an awesome challenge to try at home. So if you do get the chance, definitely give this a try. Right, let's go. Ooh. Let's all take a moment to appreciate the <coughs> save from Kenneth. It's a great challenge just for fun, good for reaction exercises because um, we're quite close. You can set it further away so you can dive into the ball, but now there's not really much time to react, so you're just using your hands, putting your body behind the ball. It's a great exercise, good fun, but tough. A lot of footwork, explosiveness, getting around the cone quickly, and the vest really doesn't help with that. <laughs> it makes it a lot heavier, but fair enough, you won. So, yeah. All right, so weighted vest goalkeeper training. I definitely think this can help with explosiveness. You know, you're being weighed down. So I think when you take the vest off, you'll feel way lighter, way more explosive. So I might consider using this in my future training. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.